So we're just continuing on now and what we're going to do is look at these tools here as we start to uh, pose and play around with the look of the fur. Now one thing I need to point out initially is as we click through these you'll see the options down here changing and that's brilliant for exactly what we need because we need to be able to adjust the brushes and etc. Now I've been having a bit of a problem with XGen at the moment in that Whenever I use it, a random one of these doesn't ha open up the options down here. So you see we have the pose, and there's no options down here. Now, they may appear when you're using it, so that's absolutely fine. I just wanted to point out that this is a little bug with my system. I'm not sure what's causing it. Um, the options work on all the others here, but they don't appear on the pose one. So you'll just have to bear with me as, uh, as we work through. Um, now initially we're going to be using Pose, so I'm just going to click on that and you'll just have to sort of imagine that we're, uh, we have some settings to play around with. Now I'm going to hold down B, you see we have this circle here and this is going to influence where we're painting. If I hold down B, we can make that bigger or smaller. I'm just going to turn off Viewport 2.0. So normally we would have gone in and adjusted some of the settings here just to make, when you're adjusting the pose, you can change how much each strand of fur bends. Um, but because we've not got that option at the moment, um, we're just going to brush lightly. Uh, if I go down to her legs, that's a good example of uh, where to begin with the pose. Um, now I'm not going to go through and fully... Uh, adjust the fur on her entire body. What I'll do is I'll just give you an overview of each of the the key tools and then you can then go on and uh, sculpt away and do what you like want with the rest. Uh, one thing you will notice is if we, as we've moved down here we've lost the preview and that's because the preview is set to only update what you are seeing at the moment. So obviously this speeds up workflow as well because you don't want to hit preview and it do the whole mesh if you're working on a certain area. But anyway, we've got the pose selected. And all we do is we just brush like so. And as you can see, these are all bending over and following the flow of the leg. Now I'm using a Wacom tablet here and the sensitivity of the brush strokes actually works a little bit here so that if I press down a bit harder then the pose is going to be stronger so I'm brushing quite lightly here so as you can see it's quite user friendly that we can just quickly move around her and just start to adjust this like so. Now if you're having a similar problem to me in that some of these options aren't appearing uh, then you don't need to worry because you can use some of the other tools to help you as well. So we'll just go around like so As you can see, it's almost like you're just brushing the hair. So it's quite an intuitive way of working. So let's say we've gone around and we've posed this fur here. Like I say, I'm not going to do everything. Maybe do some under here. And we could make our brush bigger to work on a larger area like so but now we've accidentally put some in and they've gone beneath the actual uh, skin there now we could if if like me you can't get access to the settings you could use the elevation tool here and now when you brush that's just going to make those make that fur just stand away from the skin a little bit more 
And we could do the same up here. Just brush up like this. And we can increase the goal angle here to maybe 90. And the amount of degrees it moves with each brush stroke. And that's moving a bit more. So now we've posed the fur, but it was a bit too close to the skin. So now we can use this here. Use the elevation brush just to pull those back up. So we can continue on. We could maybe use a length brush now. And let's say maybe we want the fur to be longer around her knee. So again, we have our goal length, and this is the maximum size, the maximum length that you want the fur to be. So no matter how much you brush, it will never go over five. And the increment is, again, with each brush stroke, it's the step it's going to take. So let's increase that to 0.5, and maybe we don't want the fur to go over three. Obviously, you can play around with these options here as well, but at the moment, I'm just happy using the basic options. And there, just with a brush stroke, we've made the fur longer on her knee. We could maybe just do a touch down here just to gradually blend it in. But if you get areas where it doesn't blend in properly, you can always go to the smooth brush. And then as we brush here, this is just going to smooth and soften the flow of the fur. As you can see, it's gradually blending it all together. And what you have to keep in mind is all the attributes here that we're playing with will be output to PTEX files. So effectively, as we're doing a smooth here, all that's doing is softening the, the data in the file. So if you imagine you, you're basically blurring the image, which is in effect just softening all these values around here. So it's not just affecting the length, it's affecting everything when you're doing a smooth. You can change these values down here so that it affects one more than the other. But what we've got there is we've lengthened the, the fur on the knee, we've softened that down a little bit, we've started to adjust the flow of the fur. Now obviously we can go in, we can add noise, we could part the fur, we could, do, we could play around with all of these a little bit more, but for this particular character, we don't really need those at this stage. So let's have a look at the problem where we've got the fur here coming through the clothing. Now what we could do is we could simply use the length brush and glad, gradually make, shorten the hair as it comes down here, which is what we're going to do now. Or we could try the eraser brush. Now I haven't tried this one much before because I tend to prefer to uh, actually I'm going to use a length brush because just because I've used this before and I like to have the flexibility of if I make the, the fur too short I can always make it a bit longer um, I like the fur to be there rather than just eliminate it completely so now the problem we have is if we brush even if we set goal length to zero Basically, the fur is not going to change. We have to change the increment into a minus number. So it's basically going to be taking away rather than adding. Let's set that to zero as well. That might help. That's better. So as you can see, the goal length is zero. And with every brush stroke, we're taking away 0.5. And what we could do now is just brush around here. And that's going to shrink that fur. It's going to shrink it right down so that it's now no longer popping through. And you can work your way around and just get rid of the fur from everywhere. It's like so, and now we're coming back to where our original preview was. So we can see where originally the fur would have been popping through. So let's just zoom out. 
now we've done that and we are going to update the preview just leave that for a second so now if we can see down here we've got those grey fur we've got that grey fur in there and that's showing us what the fur that will be rendered will look like now we're not going to get too much into rendering at the moment um, what I'm going to do, yeah, put my teeth back in what I'm going to do now is now I've shown you the basic brushes I want you to just experiment with them a little bit play around with those and go over the whole the whole of the Easter Bunny's body and just start posing the fur playing around with that adjusting the length you can even adjust the width as well so we could make the fur on her face maybe thinner than the fur on her body and again I hope your pose menu opens up um, unlike mine has but you know there are workarounds so don't worry too much so you can see it's, it's pretty much like you're sculpting the fur we're just going to go around we want the fur on her fa face to go that way there wants to go this way here we could even use a bend brush and that's just going to bend the fur as you can see there the tips of the fur just bend right over that's point viewport 2.0 again that's better as you can see though that's uh, had an impact on the performance so I might just turn that back off but yeah just experiment with these and then when you're happy and you've uh, you've uh, worked on all the fur you've posed it you've adjusted the length um, the orientation and you're happy to move on then what we'll do in the next video is we will we'll not go into rendering just yet what we'll do in the next video is we'll look at adding in her hair and then at the end we can look at rendering as a whole rather than doing it twice so I'll leave you there to play around with that uh, just have some fun just playing around experiment with those tools and uh, I'll see you in the next video when we start to look at her hair